What's going on guys and gals? My name is Neko Fluttershy and welcome to a video. So You know what? Let's do some shit. What kind of shit are we doing? Well, let me tell ya. I'm gonna be reacting. Yeah, I haven't done a fucking reaction video in a while. So here we got three Pokemon things. Pokemon was fucking huge a couple days ago. Um, when they announced it. I think it was part of Nintendo Direct or something. They were announcing on the same fucking day, February 26th, 2021, three different Pokemon games that are coming out. I'm excited because once the stimulus check shows up, I'm planning on buying a Nintendo Switch anyway. But now we're getting more Pokemon games. So I'm excited. And, you know, one of the biggest leaks that were coming out was Pokemon Diamond and, and Pearl remakes, you know? Um, because they already did, did, they already did, yes, they already did Generations 1, 2, and 3 as remakes. Uh, so why not the fourth one, you know? So let's take a look at Diamond and Pearl. Let's take a look at uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Also, it's not going to be in full screen, because fuck that. I don't really care. Okay, so it's uh, showing the Nintendo DS, like a, the original model, I think. Now, honestly, I didn't like Diamond and Pearl. Diamond and Pearl was too fucking slow for my liking. And the Pokemon had a need to show off. Ooh. Okay, nice, nice. Just make sure I'm recording audio. No, don't load Steam! Stop loading Steam. Stop it. I don't want to load Steam for once. For once in my life, I don't want to run Steam. Alright, I'm going to go back a little bit and see if I'm actually recording audio. Alright, there we go. You know what? We'll see this part again. Okay. Nice. Nice. I do hope that um, they got rid of some of the problems that was with Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. And I'll make a video on Pearl specifically at some point uh, to show you what I mean. There are some different fucking problems with Pokemon that I did not like about Pearl. Okay, ooh. Ooh. Ooh! I'll probably get the diamond one. Or maybe I'll get pearl because I don't know! Blade 2021. Okay. Now I wanna get diamond because why not? And I I wanna get pearl because it's fucking pink. Also, I already have a copy of Pokemon Pearl for the actual DS, so, I mean, <laughs> why not? Although, I'd rather get Dialga than Palkia, honestly. Dialga is a better looking Pokemon. Alright, so that was the trailer for Diamond and Pearl, basically it remakes. My thoughts on it, it looks pretty good. The graphics definitely look better. Um, well, obviously, that's the first thing. And the gameplay looks good. The gameplay looks good and it feels like Nintendo is actually doing some good shit with that game um, but yeah I felt like the original game was too slow so I hope that this one I hope they fix it so that's not as slow like let me tell you something once you play Pokemon black and white or black 2 white 2 and then go to diamond and pearl you can definitely tell that there's something wrong. You can definitely tell that there is something slowing the game down. The game has a slower pace, and that's why I have never beat Pokemon Pearl. Yet, I beat Pokemon Black 2. I played Pokemon Black 2. I beat it. I, I didn't get all the Pokemon, but I beat the main game. And I'm going after Pokemon Black next. 
So honestly, I do see that the Diamond and Pearl remakes have potential. Alright, let's see what Arceus is because it's shorter than this one. I'm doing it by, I'm doing it by length. Long time ago. When the cinema Wait. Long time ago. This is a tale from a long, long time ago. When the Sinnoh region was still only a vast wilderness. Hmm. A certain village also- Wait, did they say Sinnoh? So we're focusing on two games that are based off the Sinnoh region. A certain village was still only a vast- When the Sinnoh region was still Sino. only a okay. vast wilderness. So I guess a they're- A village bustled with the comings and goings of people. So I guess they're While focusing on- the mountains and seas, oh. Pokemon roamed as they pleased. So I guess they're focusing more on Sinnoh this time around. Because we got the remakes, again, of Diamond and Pearl, and that is a Sinnoh region. And now, Pokemon Legends Arceus is um, also Sinnoh. Nice! Um, I do like the Sinnoh region. I actually watched... If I wasn't watching the original first generation of Pokemon, I was watching Diamond and Pearl when that was on TV. And, uh, yeah. So I, I, I think Diamond and Pearl had a good TV series. The video games, the show was better. And, honestly, everything was better about the show than the video games. But, meh. I'll get into that some other time. Nice art style, by the way. Kind of reminded me of Okami. Which is a good game, by the way. Ooh. Ooh. Alright. So, I, I, I'm sorry I had to pause, but... From... I, 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 said, I know it said some about not actual gameplay footage or whatever. But from what I'm seeing... And from what talks are on the internet, because the internet fucking is talking big about this. They say it could very well be a open world Pokemon game of, you know, the likes of which you've never seen before. So think Breath of the Wild, right? Some people are saying that Breath of the Wild is meeting, po you know, Pokemon, right? You got the open world of Breath of the Wild, and you got a Pokemon in it. That'd be awesome! I would love to see that! Because I, I played the demo of Breath of the Wild at Walmart when they were doing their kiosk things for the, the Switch when it first came out. Yeah, um, I, I actually liked Breath of the Wild. And um, so I think this would be a great thing. If that is what they're doing. Because I have no idea. I didn't, I didn't really hear much about it after the fact. Ooh. What the fuck was that? Did she just... Roll? Ooh. Oh, you can actually sneak up on Pokemon? Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Multiple generation starters? Holy shit! <laughs> so we got Cyndaquil from Generation 2, Rowlet from. Was that, was that X and Y? So Sun and Moon. No, wait, no, wait, wait, X and Y? No, wait, Sun and Moon. I don't know. One of those two generations. <laughs> and he got Oshawa from. Uh, let's see. So there's Kanto, Owen. No, 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 no. Kanto, Hoenn. What was the third generation? Uh, I forgot. And then you got Sinnoh, so that's four. So you got the fifth one? Because I think black and white came after Diamond and Pearl. I think. 
So you got the fifth generation there. That's nice. Uh, I do like that. I like how you can have different generations here. So does that mean that the, you know, first generation is going to be there as well? I want the book. I want the Pokeball. <laughs> oh, what is happening? Ooh. Ooh, Arceus is back. Hell yeah! Arceus! Nice. Oh, come on! So, we got Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes. I'm just gonna say Diamond and Pearl remakes because I'm not gonna fucking say Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl every time. <laughs> um, it, you know, coming out in late 2021. This one is coming out early 2022. So, that's nice. Uh, assuming we live to see it, by the way. Um, because things could change. You know how Doom Eternal was gonna release in November of uh, last year? No, 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 that's 2019. Yeah, 2019. They were going to release Doom Eternal back in November of 2019, but then they saw the game wasn't good enough, and so they postponed it to March of 2020, the same day that Animal Crossing came out, and yeah. So yeah. And so now we're going to get 2022. Nice. I'm actually looking forward to it. Now, what is this next one? New Pokemon Snap. Now, also, you might be wondering, why do I like all these things? Well, it's Pokemon. How can I not like these? That's why I clicked like the very first moment I opened tabs. Also, a little spoiler, I've actually seen the commercials before, so... It's not really authentic, in a way, but... It, it, calm down, people! Calm down! I actually still fucking think that... These were great trailers. I would I've watched them over and over again. So let's see what Pokemon Snap has to offer. The new Pokemon Snap. This is the only one I didn't watch all the way through. Welcome to the world of new Pokemon Snap. This is the Lentil region. Huh? You'll ride the Neo One. Cool. Through the jungle, across the desert, and even under the sea to research Pokemon in their natural habitats. Nice. And of course, you won't be alone. Cool. Professor Muir, who's doing research in the Lentil region, oh. and research team members Rita and Phil are there to support you. So okay. Question number one. Where the fuck is Professor Oak? I get it. I get it. A new game, a new version of Pokemon Snap, new region, new whatever. Gotta have something like that. A new professor and whatnot. But is Professor Oak gonna make an appearance in the game? I, I hope so. Because Professor Oak, he's like the best professor, honestly. Although Professor Juniper is a pretty close second, honestly, favorite of mine. So you're in good hands. Now then, let's get that research started. Hmm. By watching wild Pokemon, you can discover behaviors and expressions that are rarely seen. Look, a surfing a little bit of virtue. Huh. That's cool. And there's Big Boyard. Let's try throwing it a fluff fruit. That's it. Now's our chance. Yeah, Vaporeon. Is this oh, Mew? It's Tyranitar. What a wild way to be. Yep. Here's a park at night. Let's try playing in that lady. Cool. Oh, that sure made you happy. Yeah. I'd say so. You'll also have Illumina Orbs, something the huh. professor invented. If you use one of these, you can make any Pokemon glow. Oh, wow. That's cool. Sweet. Make good use of your tools to take shots that really stand out. Yay. 
Show the photos you took to the professor. Oh, four stars. We captured a rare moment there. Catch a variety of different behaviors on camera to fill up your Pokemon photo decks. And there's more. You'll be able to edit the photos you've taken. You can what? You can what? Stickers and frames to make your favorite photos even more special. You can what? <laughs> <laughs> what? You can edit the photos? You... Wait. Could you actually do that? I, I don't think you could. Wait, could you do that in the original? I never had an N64 growing up, or in general. I don't even... Not now, but maybe in the future I will own a uh, N64. But I don't think I've ever played Pokemon Snap at all. Even emulation so wait could you do that i don't really think so i mean if you could whatever that's cool i guess but if you couldn't wow they're actually giving you more options now and i get it you know more hardware you know the, the, the better technology right more opportunities to do things and i'm sure you'll want to show off your best photos right Yes. We know that feeling well. When you want to do that, Who's we? it's time to go online. You can online. share your favorite photos and check out photos from around the world. And if your photo becomes popular, it might even be featured and get more attention. Oh, wow. Seeing something like that may inspire you to go back and take even more photos. We're getting closer to the start of your adventure. Unexplored islands and plenty of Pokemon await in the Leto region. Cool. So make sure you're prepared. Whoa! Is that the mythical Pokemon Celebi? Celebi! Get ready! The Lento region is waiting for you! Well, it's uh well, we we're gonna have to fucking wait a couple of, of wait, wait, I can't really see. I can't see! Is the, wait, is it available on the 4th? Or no, is it available on the 30th of uh, April? Is it this year or next year? How, I mean, I can't, I can't see because this is in the way. Wait. Auto plays off. Can I get rid of the annotations? Fuck. How the fuck am I supposed to know? Oh yeah, that's definitely Celebi. <laughs> Get ready! The Lento region is waiting for you! Cool. But when is it coming out, though? Oh! It says, April 30th, 2021. Okay, so it's this year. Okay, fine. I actually kind of hope the stimulus check gets here before then, so I can buy a Switch and possibly pre-order this game. I don't pre-order much. Because I don't care about pre-ordering. And honestly, I don't really think that pre-ordering is, is that good. But I might make an exception here. Because um, that looks pretty cool. I, I, I mean, it's not like the, the mainline Pokemon games. But it does look pretty good. It looks amazing. From what I've seen. Gameplay-wise. So that was a uh, new Pokemon Snap. Okay, in order, my, my recommendations, I might get this one uh, first at some point. <laughs> first at some point, yeah. I'd probably pre-order this one, honestly, in, in this or that. And I, I, I'm willing to bet that as soon as any of these three games come out or all of the games come out, there's going to be someone on Twitter bitching about it. And at some point, I might make a video on that, depending on how crazy things get on Twitter. And you know Twitter. Twitter fucking goes crazy over everything. I can just, I can just pop up my fucking Twitter right now and see what kind of crazy shit's happening. Oh, hey, look! A Virginia school district has announced it would no longer celebrate works from Dr. Seuss <laughs> during Read Across America Day, citing strong racial undertones in some of his books and illustrations. What in the fuck? 
Don Jr. running for his iPad. So I now they're trying to cancel Dr. Seuss. Smashes into the coffee table at full speed. Absolutely eating shit. People are stupid. Okay. I've heard a lot of things about Dr. Seuss. This is a... Yeah, Bourbon Turn Hill is done. As an apple, I respect it. <laughs> but yeah, like, that's crazy shit. You, you always find something crazy on fucking Twitter, right? You, you always find, you know, okay, here's one crazy thing you will definitely find on Twitter, besides me. And that is my fucking Twitter handle. Neko Fluttershy, at Neko Fluttershy. I don't know. I don't care. Warhammer, World of Warcraft, makes up difference to me. Um, but yeah, I, I, you know, someone's gonna be fucking going crazy in, in the comments on Twitter. But I think these games have potential. I am looking forward to this game, and I'm also especially looking forward to this one because if it's going to be anything like a open world Breath of the Wild slash Skyrim style game where you can explore the world, you know, like an open world style game with Pokemon, I would love that. I would fucking love that. And I really do hope that they, that, that that's what they're going for. Because that's something that's never been seen before as far as I know in the uh, Pokemon series. Sure, it may have been done in a fan-made project, but you know Nintendo and, and fan-made projects. <laughs> Cease and desist. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I'm excited for these games to come out. Um, and I'm more excited than ever now to get a fucking Nintendo Switch. Honestly, I was thinking about getting an, an Xbox One. Just a regular, boring Xbox One. Not an Xbox One S or X. But, I might get that and a Switch. I don't know, depending on how much money I'll get in the stimulus. I saw $1,400. $1,400 if they pass it. I'm saying if they pass it. And you know, your, your, your Neko Princess over here is going to get both, most likely. And a couple games for both as well. Um, but I'm excited. I am really excited to see what they do going forward. How are they going to make Diamond and Pearl better than the original? How are they going to improve? And how are they going to make this a thing? I really am excited to find out about this though. Out of all the games, this is the one I'm probably going to get first. Because of the fact that it looks awesome. You know, and... You know, the art style is beautiful. The fact that, I mean, it looks more like an open-world Pokemon game. And I'm excited for that. Uh, but anyways, guys and gals, let me know what you guys and gals think. That's going to be it for this video. If you like this video, give this video a like if it was fun, too. Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on the whole damn thing. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon down below. Uh, to get notified of my future uploads and live streams and whatever the fuck else that I do. Uh, follow me on Twitch because I do some live streams on there occasionally. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. I'm getting this video ready for upload as soon as I uh, hit stop recording. Literally, as soon as I hit stop recording, I will upload this video. Fastest uploading ever. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, people. And bruh!